Hey, what's up? Hello and welcome. My name is Maya and today we have an episode of Not So Beery. So welcome to anyone who is new and welcome back if you've been here before because we are on a brand new generation of our Not So Beery challenge. I'm so, so, so happy that we are here with Terry Akahana, who is our Rose Jen Sim and she is stunning. I love her. I can't wait to get started with this generation. So as you know, with last generation, we were on a time skip. When we finished off Aramensis generation, who is our mint sim? Right now, she's using the bathroom. She's so cute. I love her. Um, but when we left off with her, we finished her generation. And I said, we'll do a time skip. And Cherry will become a teen. And Scarlet, who is Cherry's younger sister, is, is now a child. I also gave her like a friend, her friend Layla. Um, this is her in this picture. I think I, I don't know if I invited Layla to New Year's Eve party they're having today. Um, but yeah, they are having a New Year's Eve party. But if anything, she'll just invite her. Tonza is still himself. He just got done working out, of course. And of course, Airmens is coming in here because they are still cute as ever. Oh, by the way, today's New Year. So like I said, I did play off camera. Originally, I said I was going to pick back up on this Sunday, but then I was like, why not celebrate New Year's with you all? And we can end our first episode off with aging up Araminta. So that's what we'll do for today. Also, I forgot to mention a lot happened off camera. First of all, a lot. Um, one of the things is this is Cherry's new room before her room was over here and I moved. Well, I deleted a lot of her stuff and moved it out. And now she has um hasashi's old room and hasashi is not like you know out of the family instead he's actually a part of the family now i had araminta and tanza adopt him kind of he is now like a part of their family and is on their family tree he married elsa and okay i don't know why it's saying like kato is related to them not really like when i click on kato that's not like his parents so don't just ignore okay he'll be on the family tree it's fine but right here is haven and that is hisashi's daughter because him and elsa had a daughter and she's so cute so technically haven is araminta and tanza's granddaughter and oh we also celebrated christmas which is cute i did like a little bit of renovation around the house um but this is like haven right here in her picture um, and we have like a whole wall dedicated to Hisashi. Hisashi also graduated college and now he's an engineer and they're so proud of him. Um, the family's really cute. Anyway, everyone's going to be over today for the party. So we'll see all of them. But we have a lot to work on for Cherry. When she aged up to a teen, I did give her the romantic trait. So the last trait she needs is snob. She's not really snobby right now. Instead, she really, really wants to look for love. So she is in her serial romantic aspiration. And as you can see, she does have a boyfriend. And they have been on one date already. Um, and her boyfriend, believe it or not, is Justin Bo, who is the next door neighbor. Ever since she was a child... Everyone's always been like, oh, you guys would be perfect together. Um, you guys would like be like a power couple. You're both have like level heads. He is a little older than her. He's still a teen though, but he'll age up way before she does. Oh, this toilet. Oh, hell no. Let's just replace that. But he'll age up way before her. So um, she, I don't know. She and him, they're together. Does she love him? Sure. Um, but she also knows like she's just really with him because people say they look good together more or less um but he's also gonna come to the party okay tanza why would you go in here when terry's using the bathroom whatever um but looking at her friends she also is still friends with joshua rhodes who was the um boy we met when we went to suani they're still friends and she actually has a plan to go and visit him. He lives in San Maishuno. Um, like I said, she doesn't really see Justin as like her forever. Everyone else does. And she's just playing along with it um, because she knows like appearances matter. And her parents are like really, really, really known here in Newcrest. And everything is breaking, which is annoying. Oh, yeah. I'm like so I'm getting so distracted because there's so much I need to fill you guys in with. But peppermint and wrigley both passed away so we have no pets they're both on top of the 
the washer in here, which is really sad. Um, Terry, how about you mop this up before people come over? Of course, you're always asking for advice, but she says, no one likes me. No one will ever like me. Why bother with anything anymore? And I feel like Araminta would say, people like you look around, like you're very popular. Terry is actually like extremely popular. Um, though she's a teen, she dresses like, I wouldn't say mature in a negative way, but just older than she looks. Um, and it's because her and her friend group are so popular at school. Her friend group is still the same as when she was a kid. There's Harper, Lexi, Jamie, and Cassandra, and she's closest with Jamie, of course. All these people, though, are coming to the party, so we're going to be able to see them like up close and personal, so don't worry too much about it. Oh, the party's about to start. Yeah, let's start. All right, Penny's here. She finally has her skin color back. But if you don't remember who Penny is, this is Araminta's sister, who Araminta does not get along with. But she's kind of going to be relevant this generation, at least for what I have planned. So let's go over here and celebrate our, the holiday. How about you um, do a toast with your aunt? I'm talking about Cherry. Um, oh, Cherry's in her party outfit. She looks so cute. Look at her. Oh, I love her. I hope you guys like how she turned out. I think she looks just like her mom. <laughs> but um, when I posted her on the community tab, you all were like, no, she looks like a mix of both of them. But I feel like Scarlett looks like Tanza so much. Like, look at her. I feel like that's Tanza's twin. But of course, she was doing her homework at the party because it's, it's Scarlett and she likes being a responsible little bean. Oh, cute. She's in here talking to her aunt. Um, Andrea Flanagan was from last generation as well. Where'd she go? She's right here. This is, um, Hisashi's friend. Uh, so she's over as well. That's fine. I just invited basically everyone they know to the party. Maybe we should, oh, Araminta, why would you go to work? I can't wait for Araminta to lose this lifestyle. Um, oh, Harper's here. Let me pause because I want, the point of throwing the party in the beginning of the episode is for y'all to see everyone's updated look. If you don't remember, Harper's Nancy Landgrab's daughter. This is her, very prim, very proper. Looks like she'll be besties with Cherry, because she is. Cherry, you should come over here and say hello to your friend. Hisashi's also here, but I didn't really give him a makeover because, I don't know, I should give him a makeover. Maybe I'll give him a makeover before next episode. Uh, Wendy Underwood is here. Oh, 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 I forgot. Penny had a daughter, and she's coming in. Oh, so many people coming in. Let me pause, but this is um, Desiree Boyce, who is Araminta's niece and um, Cherry and Scarlett's cousin. She's so, so cute. I love her. She's making a sad face, but she's still really cute. I also saw, wait, hold on. Who's pregnant now? All of Araminta's friends are getting pregnant, and I can't believe that Brittany is finally, finally pregnant. Finally. Who is your baby father? Lorenzo Daniels and she's pregnant with one girl that's cute um but if you don't remember Brittany Brittany's Aramata's friend from generation one um and we haven't seen them for a while but she's still really close to her friends from Windenburg so how about you come over here Araminta and you ask about her day we haven't seen Brittany in a while and finally Little Haven is here she's the cutest little thing ever this is a Hisashi and Elsa's daughter and oh my goodness she is gorgeous look at her love her and I know she has blonde hair but she only has blonde hair because Elsa's blonde she is in no way officially like yellow gen at all also cute hugging her dad oh here's Justin coming in finally everyone's getting here Marcus Flex is still around um this right here is Cassandra Flex's daughter this is not the daughter that Airman is closest with um, or not Airmen to Cherry. It's going to be so weird going to like Cherry. Elena's also married. She's now Elena Kalani, but she's married. Rainbow's here. Oh, and here's Lexi. This is Justin's sister and also Airmen or Cherry's friend. I keep calling her Airmen Cherry's friend. But Cherry's in her room talking to her girls and other people. She's like, I don't know how close I am with my aunt yet, but. Um, she's talking to like her friends. Elsa's in here. She's also like close to Elsa because Elsa did live with them for a little bit. I moved Elsa in when she got pregnant and spoiler alert, Elsa's pregnant. Why would you sit on top of her, Elsa? But spoiler alert, Elsa's pregnant again. She just doesn't know it yet. We shall see another Hisashi and Elsa baby soon, which I'm excited about. 
I love that the family's growing. It's so cute. Come down here and let um, be enticing to him. I think she, because we know Rose Generation is eventually going to be like the serial romantic who loves like, you know, having multiple partners. And I feel like what she really likes about Justin is how like doting he is to her and that he's like finds her irresistible, but she doesn't really, she just perceives him as attractive. It's not like very attractive, extremely attractive, just attractive, but he's like head over in heels in love with her. And I think she loves that for herself. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about Cherry and her personality. Also, she doesn't have that much long as a teen. I only plan on playing like maybe two or three episodes with her as a teen. And then I want to move her on to college. So we're only going to see teen her for a little bit, but, um, she's so cute. Love her. I can't wait to bring her to college. I'm so excited for that. Um, but yeah, she's like, Hey, Justin. Of course, everyone, everyone's like, oh my goodness, Cherry, really? But, you know, it's Rose Jen. He's really handsome, though. He really is. But he's not, like, mm, to her, you know? He's just, like, someone she grew up with, and it's just, like, you know, it would be perfect because her and Lexi will be sisters, and Miss Rainbow will be her mother-in-law, and, like, they're next-door neighbors. They grew up in Newcrest. They're both prominent Newcrest families, but she's like, I don't know, he's... He's boring. He doesn't really give her that, like, you know, let's have fun type of thing. Um, but can we get some drinks? Can people drink? Uh, Araminta. Oh, wait, Vera's pregnant again? Since when? Emily and her daughter is a teenager. But I'm talking all that, and um, you can't tend the bar because you're tense. Let's have tons of tend the bar then. I'm talking all that, but Airman is definitely going to have another kid because you all want her to have a son. I want her to have a son. I want her to have another kid so bad, and I want to see her in Tonsis jeans some more. So, of course, they will have another kid, but I wanted to wait until y'all were, like, here, and I didn't want to do it off camera for them, so we're going to wait. I forgot this is supposed to be New Year's, and we're supposed to be... Oh, some of them are watching the New Year's TV. I'm like, we're supposed to be doing the New Year's countdown. Scarlett is being such a cute little girl in here. I'm sad that we didn't invite her friend, Layla. Maybe I can still invite her, even though it's like late. It's New Year's, so Layla, get over here. This is like the only friend she has. Um, but she's kind of not as social as her mom and her sister. She's more like chill and relaxed. And she just really wants to, she picks up on like her mom's love for science and like uh, education, but she doesn't like really pick up on the social cues her family has. Instead of kissing Cherry, of course, Justin's like hugging his sister for New Year's because Justin is just like this calm, relaxing guy. He wants to be like president of the sim world. Oh, finally, Araminta lost her workaholic lifestyle. I've been waiting for this. Finally. But he's like wants to be president of the sim world. And right now, Cherry has no desire to be president of the sim world. She's just more like, yeah, sure, you can be president of the sim world and I'll be like, you know, your wife, that's all she, she doesn't really care about being that. Um, she's like really good at talking to people in school, but she doesn't really see herself being the leader of anything. But her bestie, Jamie's here. She loves herself some Jamie. I thought she would be closest with Lexi, but her and Jamie get along so well. Let's hurry up and make a resolution for Cherry. Hmm. What do I want her to do? She already has a significant other. Maybe complete an aspiration milestone. So go on one more date with Justin. Justin is going away to college soon anyway. So she's probably like, I really want to do a lot of dates with him before he goes away. And as you all know, Rose Jen is like, wait, is are you in labor? There's so much happening. She's in labor. We're going to end the party soon so she can like have her baby. Um, but I think that she thinks her and Justin will be together through college. And the reason he's been so distant lately is because he knows like i don't know if i want to do a long distance relationship and plus cherry is much younger than me um so he doesn't know and he also feels the same way as her like everyone says we'll be together so that's why we got together and um they don't know really if it's gonna last and we know if you watch not so bear you know how roshan is we know it's not gonna last but cherry in her head is like he's in love with me he will never break up with me type of thing and look how angry he is now i don't know why he's so angry but he is oh okay and new year's ended new year's was like awful for everyone that's fine 
But with New Year's being over, I think we'll end the party. Like I said, I only did the party so you all can see what everyone looks like and update it and get reminded on who the characters are. Um, but Cherry, she's going to head off to bed because tomorrow is when she told Josh she'll go down to San Maichuno and visit him. So we get to meet Josh, which I'm so excited for because I love him. Love, love, love. Love me some Josh Rhodes. But we'll pick back up in the morning. All right, so it's the next morning and Cherry's up. She's about to go clean out the fridge and get some leftovers. It is spring day. I added it to the calendar um, a while ago and I forgot that wasn't even a holiday that we were gonna celebrate, but we're not really celebrating it because she knows she's gonna go meet up with Josh today. Um, but I think after she's done eating, I wanna kind of spend like the whole day. The way I imagined it is like, obviously Josh is someone that she's been communicating with online all this time but like this is like the first time they get to get together and meet after speaking online for so long Araminta what are you eating fruit cobbler she just be cooking like she made fruit cobbler like Araminta is a changed woman she's such a um domestic mom now it's so cute and she's not a workaholic anymore she doesn't work too much so and her and Cherry are really close so I feel like she's gonna ask Cherry like hey what are your plans for today? I know it's Sunday, you're a social girl, and Cherry always has plans, always wants to hang around with friends. So her mom's probably like, um, what you heading? What are you and the girls doing today? What are you and Justin doing today? And she's gonna let her know like, um, actually, mom, I'm not going to see Justin today. I'm gonna go see my friend Josh, but don't worry, me and Josh are just friends. And she's like, okay, good, because you know I like Justin and I see you with Justin and that's who you should be with. And I feel like Aramanta is definitely the type to control Cherry's life. Um, now that she doesn't focus on work so much, now she focuses on her daughters and she really, really, really wants Cherry to do the right thing. Speaking of Aramanta and her daughters though, she really wants a son and she's been wanting a son for so long. So we're gonna have her woohoo with Tanza before they go or before uh, Cherry goes. So let's go. Woohoo with your man. You know, the love of your life. I can't get over Cherry's room. Like, I want this room. And I was scared with all the red. Like, I'm not a fan of red and using red. But this is, like, really, really cute. Really vibey. That's what I would say. Definitely vibey. I love her room. While we're waiting for, you know, the lovely couple to woohoo, she's going to come up here and she's going to practice pickup lines. I feel like um, she's like, okay, even though we're just friends, I still, you know, I want, I want to make a good impression. And remember that Josh was her first ever crush. And he's the reason that she changed her whole appearance and her whole style. If you didn't watch Mint Gen, during Mint Generation, Cherry was not like this. Like, she was definitely, like, she didn't care how she looked. Not saying, like, she wasn't attractive, like, child or whatever. But, like, she didn't really care too much about her appearance. Instead, she cared, like, more about having fun and hanging out with her friends. And she met Josh on vacation. And she had her little, like, childhood crush with him. And she started to care more about what she looks like and her impression on other people. So now that she's going to go see him again, she's like, I got to make sure I look good when I go see him. So, um, yeah, I'm excited, though, to head out. As for Araminta and Tanza, I don't think we're going to check to see if Araminta is pregnant until all the way at the end of the episode. Especially because if she is pregnant, I want to be able to age her up tomorrow. Um, and it might not let her because sometimes when they're pregnant and you try to have them blow out candles, it won't do it. But I still want her to be an adult. I'm tired of her being a young adult. She's way too young to have a teenage daughter. And then Scarlett is almost a teen as well. So hopefully we still get to age her up even if she is pregnant. All right, but it looks like they're done. So we're going to take Cherry and we're going to head out to the city. All right, we're here at the park and we're finally meeting up with Joshua. And she's like, Joshua, is that you? You look so different. And like, look how different he looks. He has a tattoo, everything. Like, she's kind of shocked. Like, I didn't know you like you look like this now, Josh. Um, and yeah, so cute. He's so, 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 so cute. Um, and I think she's going to have a big crush on him again. Um, I don't think that ended. Oh my goodness. And they already gained a sentiment with each other. 
Um, she learned that he's a maker, that he likes making things with his hands. And I think she's like, oh, I like that. Because her boyfriend would never even, like, touch a woodworking table or anything like that. He's definitely not someone that will work with his hands at all. If anything, he's someone that will hire someone to work with their hands. And it's kind of refreshing considering, like, Cherry's only been around people that are kind of like her family. She's lived a very sheltered life, especially compared to like Araminta and Tanza's upbringing. And he's creative. That's so cute. So she's probably like, um, it's nice talking to someone who's not as like worried about their image and how they look to other people. I think that's like really something that she she's lacking in her every day. And look at her for flirty, of course, flirty. Um, but that's what she's lacking in, like, her everyday life and all her friends. And, like, she loves her friends, don't get me wrong, but her life is pretty boring compared to Araminta's. But she's asking him, like, what's your favorite color? What color do you like? And he likes blue and yellow, which is cool considering Next Gen is yellow, so hint, hint. Oh, of course she's giving him a rose. I swear, because she's romantic, she always does, like, romantic gestures, and they have pink bar. I mean, don't get me wrong, I was planning on them being together anyway, um, but she moves quick. And since she started it, I'm gonna finish it. And of course, when she's out, Hisashi's calling her. She would never turn down her brother's, like, phone call, so she's like, hold on. Um, my brother's calling me, and I think that kind of, like, snapped her back to reality. Like, you have a boyfriend? Uh, you shouldn't be flirting with this random guy. I mean, he's not random, don't get me wrong, but, like, still. I feel like she's having a conversation with him, like, so what is it there to do in the city? Like, I traveled all this way, maybe we should go do something fun. And he's probably like, yeah, we can go out to, like, a club or something later on. Um, and we can use this time to work on her charisma, because that is a part of Rose Den. I can't believe I haven't even, like, reviewed the rules of Rose Den with you all, and, like, we're halfway through the episode. Let me do that right now. All right, it says, Generation 2, Rose. You had everything you desired as a child, but you were always longing for more. Told you. Very sheltered life. As an adult, you have a hard time committing to relationships as you're so focused on your career. If we had a workaholic trait in The Sims 4, you would have it. And we do have it now with lifestyle, so I feel like Cherry definitely would get that. You have absolutely no maternal instinct whatsoever, but you still love your child with all your heart. Traits are hot-headed snob and romantic. Right now, she is hot-headed and romantic. Aspiration, serial romantic career politician. We need to have only one child, master the politician career, and complete the serial romantic aspiration. Master the charisma skill, leave someone at the altar, and get married for the first time as an elder. I am so excited for the spice that is Rose Jen. And I apologize for not going over the rules beforehand, but still, I'm so excited for this generation. And as we can see with her and Josh, that she already has like the want to be serial romantic. And of course, and of course, she's making a flirtatious joke. Like I said, she just likes being liked and that people find her attractive. But she also likes that, that he's completely different than any guy that goes to school with her or anything like that. Um, and throughout the conversation, Cherry got the impression that Joshua finds her quite attractive, which we assumed, right? We assumed, and he is really attractive. He's probably like, you know, I'll meet you at the club later, bring some friends along, and we'll have some fun. So we are going to have her um, quickly use the bathroom here, and then we are going to head out to the club at somewhere in the city we'll keep her in the city kind of like she's visiting here for the day and we'll invite like probably jamie not lexi because lexi's brother and her go out and she doesn't want lexi telling her brother that she's like talking to this guy all right we're here at the club and i feel like cassandra's like what did you all drag me to do we're teenagers trying to sneak into this club oh she's deciding to sing i was gonna get her a drink but she herself wants to sing and she's a terrible singer so i don't know I don't know why she would want to do this. But it's really her personality. I think Cherry's like, I can see myself moving to the city though. Her friends are like, what are you even doing with this guy, Josh? Like, shouldn't you have invited Justin to the bar as well? And Airman's just kind of like, no, we're fine. Let's get some drinks. I mean, but look at him. He's so cute. Oh no, we went to a rooftop place and it's raining. 
Oh, she can say happy Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. I doubt it. Um, but she can definitely reveal her crush. But no, I think she'll do that more when she she has a drink. But she's going to ask him about his preferences. Like, hey, what kind of like, you know, what are you into type of thing? I feel like her friends know she really only invited them. So she doesn't feel too guilty about, you know, cheating on Justin. Because that is what she's doing. And now... When other people play Rose Den, they talk about, oh, I hate playing Rose Den. Like, I'm not a fan of having multiple relationships. And don't get me wrong, I'm not either, like, in real life. But to be realistic, not everyone's always going to be faithful. And Rose Den in Nanso Berry is, like, literally the most unfaithful you can get in The Sims. So um, I don't want to, like, sugarcoat anything. Cherry's not a great person when it comes to relationship. Um, she's non-committal, even though she doesn't have that trait, but she doesn't want to be really tied down. That's more what other people want for her in her future. And if she's being honest, she likes having fun with her friends and she likes being spontaneous. And, um, and I think she gets to be that way with Josh without having to worry too much about keeping up with the appearances that she has to when she's with Justin. And, but don't get me wrong, of course she's going to feel guilty for, like, pursuing a romantic relationship with someone else, but... Not guilty enough to stop, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, yeah, that's a little bit about Cherry. I mean, love her or hate her, she's always going to be herself. And that's kind of the person that she is. Um, and if we're being honest, Araminta kind of made her that way when she told her, like, appearances matter, how you look matter. If you want someone, you can get them by that way. And she was young and impressionable. And now this is the result of how she was raised. Oh, my goodness. That girl stole one of my friend's drinks. Like, I order drinks for my friends, not for you. Now I want to finish my drink. Drink this. I think now that we have a drink, though, we definitely can reveal our crush to Josh. Oh, my goodness. How do you have two drinks? Look at her. Did she take someone else's drink? She did. She's like, I'm here for a great time. A great time here. Like... Josh makes me feel like I can do anything and I want to have fun. And Jamie's probably like, girl, you're drinking too much. Um, but after she finishes her drinks, I think she's going to use that in, as an excuse. She's going to be like, Jamie and Cassandra, you can head home. I'm going to head to Josh's place. Like, I'm soaking wet. I don't want to go home like this. And I had too much to drink. My mom and my dad are going to be like, you know, upset with me. So I'm just going to say I spend the night at your house and we are, well, Josh and her are going to head back to his apartment. All right, they're here at Josh's apartment and he's like, before you go in, um, my apartment is not as big as your house is because he has been to her house before when I was playing off camera. But Terry is like someone that's, like I said, she doesn't really care too much about what other people think. Um, even though people want her to care too much about what other people think. So she's like, I'm fine with where you live. She's going to wake him up like, um, excuse me, you were supposed to get me more clothes. Hello? And um, this is what she changed into. I mean, clearly it's not like his pajamas, but still. She's talking to him like, um, I don't care that you, you live in this apartment. Like, it's a pretty cool apartment. And, like, it's kind of better than what she, not better than what she grew up with, but, like, she finds it different than what she sees all the time in Newcrest. I think this is the perfect time to reveal her crush on him. Like, actually, you're, like, the first boy I ever had a crush on, if we're being technically honest. And I think it, like, blew his mind because he felt the same way about her. Um, and she's going to embrace him. I think this is a perfect time to have their first kiss. The apartment is so tiny, we have to go into the kitchen. But I think his mom left anyway. So it's just them here. And she's like, I really like you. Oh, that's so cute. I think they're having a steamy exchange. I'm sure you guys can see where I'm heading with this. Definitely, definitely to uh, woohoo. I mean, they're young. They're flirty. They had too much to drink. They're alone in this apartment. His mom went away. But nevertheless, here they are. And this is the first time Cherry's ever woohooed with anyone, including her boyfriend, Justin. They always talked about waiting for marriage. And here Cherry is with Josh, her childhood crush. 
Um, I think we're going to leave them here. Cherry's going to call out of school for tomorrow um, because it's five in the morning. She's stuck in San Myshuno with this guy at his apartment and she has a lot to think about. So I think what we're going to do is leave them here and I'm going to switch back to Araminta and Tanza and they're probably like, it's Monday morning. We haven't seen Cherry. Where is she? And of course, no protection used as well. So we're back home. Araminta's like, hmm... I haven't seen Cherry since yesterday morning and I know she said she'll be with Jamie but I want to just call Marcus make sure that everything is okay. He, he said what I'm sleeping call later he's probably like no I have not seen Cherry she's not here we're all asleep the girls are here asleep oh and she's thinking of a baby bottle should shall we test now to see if Aramance is pregnant I kind of wanted her to age up though before she got pregnant if I'm being honest, and I doubt we'll be able to age her up if she is pregnant. Let's just have her take this pregnancy test. And if she's pregnant, I guess we won't age her. Or maybe there goes throw up. Or maybe I'll have her, um, I'll still have her age up or I'll turn on aging for pregnant sims because I want her to age up if she's pregnant. I'm tired of her being so young, but we're going to see. Are you pregnant, Araminta? This sink needs to be cleaned. She is! Yay! <laughs> nice. So exciting. Even though she's upset that Cherry is not where she said she was, she's gonna go over here and she's gonna share the big news with Tanza. I am hoping and praying for a boy. Hoping and praying. Enthused about the pregnancy. Like, I'm so excited. Oh, look, she already has her little bump. How cute! She's like, babe, can you just, like, get off the... The machine for a little bit i have something important to tell you i'm pregnant and he's like you're pregnant but we don't even know where our daughter is and now we have another kid on the way so so happy that um she's pregnant but tanza and scarlet are heading off to work in school and um cherry is still not home and now Aaron is starting to get a little worried like okay now she's getting worried she called the school cherry never turned up to school either and in Aaron eyes this is nothing like her daughter her daughter would never do anything like this and she's starting to get worried and she's like the last place she said she'll be was the city Aaron has work in two hours but she's gonna take a vacation day as i said she's not a workaholic anymore so no, not go on a vacation, sorry. Take a vacation day. But like I said, she's not a workaholic anymore. So working is not like her end all be all. It's like really taking care of her kids. And one of her kids are, is missing. So that has her nervous. All right, Araminta just took a vacation day and she talked to Jamie and Cassandra and they both, they couldn't even deal with lying to Araminta. So they were like, we left her in San Shuno and she's with a boy. And now Araminta's like, oh no, with a boy? And she's probably like trying to look up where he lives. Like you said, Joshua Rhodes, I'll find his apartment really quickly. All right, so it's Maya and I'm editing this video right now and I'm noticing it's getting way too long for one episode and I know it's a cliffhanger right now to leave the episode off with Araminta trying to find out where Cherry is, but we are going to leave it off here. I'm so sorry, but I don't want the episode to get too long and um, I don't think you guys are ready for what's going to happen next episode, but I'm so excited for it. Let me know what you think is going to happen in the comments below. Um, but next episode, we will pick right back up where we are right now. Um, but I also need names for Araminta's baby. So if you can leave me some names, that would be great. Also, let me know what you think about Cherry. Her personality is definitely, definitely an interesting one. Once again, I'm sorry for the cliffhanger, but you'll have to see what happens with Cherry next episode. And I will see you in the next one. Bye now. <laughs>